what do you, Kenny mm-hmm. Caraway, what do you need to see from the 49ers this week that we didn't see last week? I need to see 60 minutes of top flight defense. Mm. I also need to see I need to see them playing 45 not going to get it done this time, huh? No, not going to get it done. <laughs> not going to get it done. I need to see them playing um mistake free football or minimize the mistakes. Man, and when I talk about yeah. that I talk about turnovers and penalties. You're almost certainly not going to have a, a a penalty free game. Like that's asking a lot. But man, these third down penalties but you know, on the defensive end, or you know, I mean, it, you know, we, we we focus on those because they were so glaring. But you know, don't don't put yourself in second and fifteen situations either on the offensive end. Yeah. Cut those penalties at. I mean, I don't think it's outrageous to ask them to cut it in half. Yeah, it's come on, man. Twelve or ninety nine yeah. yards. Yeah, that can't happen. That can't happen. I'm thinking, like I said, it, I'm not expecting a zero penalty game, but. Three, four, five, you know, yeah. and, and and I hopefully... think that's how many Chicago had. I think Chicago had three. Wow, I can I, I can confirm five, but anywhere between three and five. I mean, I've got three. Funny. I've got I got I've got three. I've got three for twenty four yards versus twelve for ninety nine. I mean, that's and they didn't turn the ball over. No, they turned it over once. They, they turned it over once. Yeah, uh, but two interceptions from the four, four or two turnovers from the 49ers. Yeah, so that's. That's the game. And and I know Seattle's feeling good about themselves. I have the same, uh, you know, wild thoughts when it comes to uh, Seattle, the Seahawks, and what they've done to the 49ers for the better part of the last decade. Pete Carroll, all this other stuff. I get all that. But I, I'm not ready to sit up here and say the Seahawks are on par with the 49ers talent-wise. I think the 49ers have the better team. And they have to play up to their capabilities. This is the NFL. This is professional sports. It doesn't matter um, who is quote unquote better. If the better team, the quote unquote better team, isn't executing and playing a clean game. We talked about the rain being a great equalizer last week. Well, not playing discipline is also a great equalizer. You know, yeah. when you're when you're giving any of these professional teams. Uh, multiple opportunities to be successful. These guys get paid too. They'll figure it out. They'll get it done. So the Niners got to cut back on that. And if they cut back on on the penalties and, and the mental mistakes, I think they I think they'll they'll beat the Seahawks. Denver, a, a, a team, um, a lot of people were talking about he- heading into this year with Russell Wilson, their defense, and you know, they're one of those many teams. Oh, they're a quarterback away. They're a quarterback away. They landed Russell Wilson. We, you know, obviously, you had this this game on Monday. The defense only got to Geno twice. Mm. That's a that's a number that you know that's 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 something I'm focused on for the for the 49ers, particularly 97. Yeah. You got to get get get, get to Geno, make them uncomfortable early, and and they and that and that's the <laughs> they did that. They did that to Justin Fields. Their two sacks were in the first quarter. They never got another one. Well, hell, the the play that changed everything was they flushed them out of the pocket crazy. Oh man! Like they got they had two guys yeah. get to him and had him running out of the pocket. He made a great play to get away, and it was just a scramble drill at that point. Yeah, they could get George Threw Kittle lob like he was Chris Paul. He almost overthrew it. <laughs> <laughs> Leave Justin Fields alone. <laughs> he almost <laughs> leave, overthrew leave that man alone. Hey, man, if that play changed everything, the Niners, Niners should have won that game, man. That sucks. Well, they that didn't. Sucked. They did not. They didn't. Uh, the good news is they've got another opportunity to win one uh, this Sunday against against the Seattle Seahawks. What do you, what do you, what do you Seahawks think? week. You think they'll be able to? Little stinky Seahawks. You think they'll be able to get it done this week? I mean, it, it's. It, it, I thought your 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 line a second ago was perfect. Like, if 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 the better team plays mistake free or virtually mistake, they can't win. Seahawks can't beat them. They're not better. But who you know, it it it, it, it often boils down to 
Sure, what team plays better? What team makes less mistakes? You hear the you 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 hear the the stories. You hear coaches preach this. You talking about a turnover battle over and over and over again. I think San Francisco is better than Seattle, but I'll preface that with saying I think Seattle's better than we gave them credit before the season started, and I and I think they're a team that's going to fight all year. This isn't a team that's going to roll over. This isn't a team in a in a in a gap year. This isn't a, th- this team is none of that. Like this is the, the Seattle Seahawks are a team that's going to fight all year. I think they're going to cause hell in these divisional games against the 49ers and the Rams and, and, and the Cardinals. I think the 49ers get it. I'm not, I'm, I was, I was very, very confident headed into week one against Chicago. I'm not nearly as confident headed into this game because I, I think and maybe prisoner of the moment riding Riding a little bit higher with Seattle than I was, you know, prior to Monday's game. I, I I didn't think anything extraordinary happened, and sometimes that tends to sway me more than an extraordinary performance. If Geno had thrown for 400 yards and three touchdowns, I'd be more likely to say, "That's dope. That's a great story." He's not doing it again, but that's a great story. He was what was he like twenty three of twenty? He completed like eighty eight percent of it. He completed some uh, uh, like ridiculous percentage of his passes. Right. Two hundred yards, around two hundred yards. Like he was, he he just composed. And the thing that I kept going to, maybe maybe not the you know outrageous completion percentage, but the thing I kept going back to with Gino was he could do that. I don't think he could do what Patrick Mahomes is doing two games into the season. But he could do that, right. and that's that's going to be good enough to win some games, and it's not going to be good enough to win others. But I think that can consistently be him. And if this offense isn't flowing, that performance from Gino on on Monday, a, a repeat performance of that will be good enough to beat this San Francisco 49ers team. Here's where I'll push back a little bit on that. It won't be good enough to beat the San Francisco 49ers unless you get two fumbles at the goal line from the 49ers. And and that's where it, 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 I I'll, I'll take the 14 points that were left on the board right there. I'll take the, the 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 I'll take the goal line part out of it and change it to turnovers. I I think you're right. If the 49ers turn the ball over again it, it, the, the 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 way that they did on Sunday, it, you're absolutely that's that fits my scenario better than a, a clean game from San Francisco and Gino repeating that performance. Hey man, take That's, care of the football. That, that won't be good enough. Yeah. Take care of the football. Defense show up the way you did for the most part on, on Sunday. I mean, the defense, they played a good game. It wasn't good enough because you, you had two mistakes that led to two touchdowns. Don't panic. Do your <laughs> job. Do what you're don't, supposed to do. Don't do what the fans are doing. Don't do what everybody else is doing. <laughs> team you still have a really good roster if you handle bet handle business better than you did in week one you'll be fine and and be and handle business better than you did in week one for like eight minutes of that game mm. like that's all it was it wasn't a, a beat down throughout the game it was actually the exact opposite but you kind of lost focus and lost track for about seven to eight minutes and it cost you clear up that and i think you'll be fine 